10 years ago, I set up Desert P Media as a way to re-engage young people who don't have that really strong sense of identity. It's about giving these kids a voice, helping them make music about being themselves. I believe that the work Desert P Media is doing is something that can change this country through songline, through art, through young people. There's lots of people that talk about change and they talk about how to do that and how to facilitate that, but not many people actually do it. I'm not offering any answers. I'm just facilitating a dialogue for people to, to do that themselves. It's funny if Trey do it because he's a real little fella, see? No! <laughs> and if he got pillows up, he jump and make, him look, make you look mad, bro, right, telling you. Storytelling is embedded in all Indigenous communities and all it's about is is showing the kids that there's tricks to, to facilitate that, to, to tell your own story. If you know how to, how to structure your yarn, then you know how to communicate and you know how to create that change. The form of hip hop itself is more of a tool of engagement than a cultural choice. The fact that the kids are creating music is something that's very palatable, you know, people can listen to that and they can see that you know, Indigenous kids are the same as any other kids. Part of the work that we do is an incentive for young people to actually attend school. Since we started, attendance rates have increased by 70% amongst those kids that have been engaged in the program. Deadly. Your turn, Chris. When these kids are at school or at home or in the workplace even, there's boundaries. But when they're in our projects, when those boundaries drop away, they start to speak with a voice that isn't challenged, it's embraced. The world is responding to these kids and to the stories that they're talking about. They wake up one morning and they'll look at their film clip with 30,000 hits and they go, wow, you know, people are watching.